Hello Minecrafters, this is Binary Guy 10 and today we're playing on a Monkey Mine server. Now this server is a little different than the main Monkey Mine server. Um partially because I can do this. Whee! Boing! Oh wait, I'm flying. How how is that happening? Alright, so yeah, you might have noticed a couple things. Strange ore machinery looking box here. Um, I'm wearing a jetpack. Yes, we're playing Feed the Beast. And I'm just getting going on the Monkey Mine server here. So I have a single solar panel charging my jetpack. Alright, we're all charged up, but it's not going to last too long. We need to put in some more power options quickly. Alright, so I have a little farming setup here. I have rubber trees. Let me go ahead and tap that tree. So yeah, you can, rubber trees are really important to feed the bees because they give you sticky resin which can be turned into rubber which uses in all the electrical recipes. Um, I have a little farm set up over here. Growing some wheat. I have some corn. The corn is from Zycraft. Um, this mod pack is the Dire Wolf 20 mod pack and you can select that from the main feed the bees launch screen. So yeah, getting some of these set up. Here's some um, they grow twine. I can't remember what they're called. Um, I have some cows over here. I built a wall because creepers kept hopping in there, which is why the hole is bigger than it was when I started. Anyway, um, this series probably won't be a full-on list play. It's probably going to be um, a lot more edited than I normally would do. Um, but one of the things I want to do first off is to actually build a geothermal generator so that we can use some of these lava buckets and not have to rely entirely on solar power. Alright, so I just took a regular generator. There's a the recipe for it. Place this down. Alright, so if you put it right here in front of it, we can power it. Drop some lava in there. You see we filling up and it should start generating. There we go. You see some lava stacking up in there. It's turned on and if we look here our power level is really increasing. Um, we do have a spawn area for this, and it is about a thousand blocks. So let's tell you exactly where it is. Yep, about a thousand ninety-two blocks that away. And there's some uh, bigger stuff set up there. We have tree farms and um, some quarries running. But I decided to just go ahead and get out a little more on my own. I found this really cool area. So I have some trees planted down there. There's a big forest over here on this side. I have my base in this mountain here. So let's go ahead and do a quick little tour. There's some, a lot of arches. Let me see if I can turn the render distance up just a little bit. I was getting some lag earlier, but... There we go, we're on normal now. Yeah, there's a little um, oil well there. I've done some mining out down here. <laughs> I actually found a zombie spawner, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll set up something later. Maybe we'll play around with the soul shards, because they're also in this mod. Be cool to make some of your own, own spawners. Anyway, um, what I'm realizing really quickly is that I'm getting a lot of ore stacked up. And I need to get a system in place to deal with it. Yeah, this is monster proof. Make sure that monsters cannot get in here. And we'll definitely expand a little more on this. But yeah, the first thing I want to do is get kind of a setup going so that we can process the ores. And what I'm going to use is the thermal expansion pack. So what we're doing is making a pulverizer. And I have. Let me I'm still some stuff in my bag. That bag's full. These bags are from the Red Power 2, and you just make them with string. I don't see any glass. I'll put this present away. Sticky resin. All that good stuff. Give ourselves a little bit of room for some crafting. Oh, well, you know what? I just made a bow, and then I guess the skeleton just dropped a bow too, so that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to use the thermal expansion, which runs off of buildcraft power. So let me make. First, I'm going to make a pulverizer. 
So we put a gold, and that makes the redstone reception coil. We also need a machine block. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Put this around the outside. And gold block here in the center. So we have that. And the last thing we have to do, oops, wrong chest. Put it here with the piston and the flint. And that will give us a pulverizer. So put this here. This goes here. Copper. And the piston on top. Alright, so this is a pulverizer. It's essentially the same as a macerator, so it breaks down ore blocks into powder. And then you get twice as much powder per ore. Alright, so we also need... This is going to make a furnace, so again, we're going to do the redstone reception. That was for the machine block, and this is going to put it all together. So let me do that really quick. Get the redstone reception coil, the glass around, and iron. Alright, so there's the machine frame, put the piston on top, copper on either side, bricks, machine frame, and Restaurant reception coil. Oop. Wait a minute, that's not right. I messed up. Anytime you need to find a recipe, there's the whole any items over here, or not enough items mod, and you can't actually cheat with it, so it's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, furnace. And AC. And what we want is the powered furnace. Redstone reception coil. Copper. Bricks, red. Oh, redstone. That makes more sense. I made another piston for the top of that. How about that? And that's just a regular piston. Um, this is my ore chest. I have all kinds of stuff in here that I need to start processing. Got a lot of copper, silver, ferrous ore, which I have no idea what it does yet. Um, tin and copper are two of the main ones for this mod, and then there's the regular gold and iron. They make up a lot of the recipes as well. Alright, let's try again using the proper ingredients. So over here, that's there, and the redstone on top. Powered furnace. Perfect. Alright, now we have the two machines, so the pulverizer and the powered furnace. Now we need to make some stuff to actually power them. Um, let's make some pipe. Now this is... You can power these pipes with the buildcraft engines, which I'm going to already have a couple set up. So there's a golden transport pipe, but we want it to be powered so we can send the current through it. And this will allow us to send the uh, MJ or Minecraft jewels through. Oh, I guess I need a few more than that. Uh, let me make these wooden transport as well. And this is how we get the power out of the machines, or out of the engines. I need a little more redstone. There we go. Chest. Ooh, I got a little lag. I may have to um, switch back to a short render distance. One, two, three, four. Let's get four more of those. Give us a little space. And I need at least one more of these. In my bag, yeah, I already made two magmatic engines, and you can just power those with lava, as the name sounds like. And they're made with tin. Magmatic engine right here. So yeah, tin, the redstone transmission coil, the piston, and gears on either side. So yeah, this is made with a silver ingot. So that works out. Okay. And... Oh, it's getting to be nighttime. Let's make a chest. Let's make. Let's make a chest. I have two chests. I have a wooden transport pipe. I'm gonna need a redstone engine in order to pipe the items in. All right. So, redstone engine uses this crafting recipe. Let me make a couple of those, and then we'll head downstairs and start setting up a. Or processing area. So, put the piston here, glass blocks here, one, two, one, two, one, two. 
Alright, redstone engines, they're the simplest engines in the game. They don't require any power to run. You can just turn them on with a the redstone current and they will provide just a little bit of energy. Um, but for now, what for what we're doing, it should be plenty. Okay. Thinking, thinking. Oh, let me make a couple chests. And let's hop downstairs. So the upstairs is kind of the bedroom area, and I want to try to have the the processing facility down here. So to start with, let's just place our pulverizer and our furnace. Put the pulverizer right here, and the furnace right beside it. All right, so. Configuration, we have our output here, which I believe that was the right side. The input is coming in from this side, which works. We can actually input from the bottom of the top. And that's with the thermal expansion pack. It has a lot more configuration over um, the inputs and outputs. So that works really cool. Okay, so I'm going to set up... Um, this is probably going to be kind of a temporary setup for right now. Let me just put in... An engine and an engine. I need to rotate those. I have a Fieldcraft wrench. So let's turn those. No. They'll be down in a minute. Let me dig out a little bit of space. This is going to be where I run the power. Okay, so now we have some space to put our wiring. Let's get our. We have two conductive, a couple. Alright, so if we do this and this. Now we should be able to turn our magmatic engines downward. That should work. Alright, this goes here, 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 and here. So that'll power these furnaces and the pulverizer. Um, this needs to be turned as well. I think. No? I put it too close, didn't I? They're not going to be compatible. Ah, no problem. I will just move everything over by one block. Well, not everything, just this one engine. Okay, that works. So I put this here. I'm going to put the golden conductive pipe under it. What happened to my wooden... There it is. So this, that. Now the wooden conductive pipe is able to take the power from the engine and send it into the golden conductive pipe to send to my other machines over here. Alright, let me grab a little bit of... lava from down below. I have four buckets. I made a handy dandy shoot. Whoa! Down to lava level. I found this really weird ravine down here. That's grass. Who ever heard of that? Um, eventually I would like to find a nice lava pool that I can drop a pump down into and just pump the lava up. Uh, but for now we're just doing it with buckets. Alright, we'll put two buckets in each machine. Alright, so these are both sending power. Alright, awesome. You can see the power level in these two machines is starting to increase. So they're getting ready to be in good shape. <laughs> okay, so if I put this here, let me just make it a double chest because I'm going to have a lot of stuff to send in there. Alright, let's see if I can just put some materials in it and let it go. Iron. I need iron. Lots of iron. Down we go. So if I drop these in the pulverizer, in the input slot right there, you see it's working, pulverizing. Now the cool thing with the pulverizer over a macerator is you're going to get your dust over here. And sometimes you get another product that goes right to here. And let me...
Okay, yeah. So you see, this is now smelting the pulverized iron, and it put it right into the chest. So we've already got two ingots over there. That's awesome. Because you see, the output is on the right hand side, so it just goes straight into the chest. I don't have to have any piping or anything for that. Yeah, this is filling it up faster than it can use it, so that is awesome. This would be a really good setup once we get it going. Um, yeah, it's storing storing energy, and with magmatic engines, they will never blow up. So they can get really hot, and we can see right now they're running at about 900 degrees Celsius, which is perfectly okay. All right, so. This is not quite as automatic as I would like it to be. What? More automation? Yes, that's what I absolutely love about this mod pack, is I can automate everything. <laughs> um, I think we're done with one of these. Let me grab this chest. Come on. Break. I should make a chainsaw. Alright, so that's empty now. I wonder, can... And I'm not actually sure what's going to happen now. But if I put the chest just sitting on top of it, and I put something in the chest, will it pull from it, or will I have to actually send it? Okay, so it's not going to automatically pull. Bummer. Let's turn these off for now, we're not using them. We've filled up our internal buffer, and since we're just trying to figure stuff out, we'll save that power right now. Yeah, let me put the chest right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a hopper. Now, hopper is good because you can use it to act as a buffer before you get to the storage. Hopper, yes. Hopper, boing, 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 and down we go. So if I put the hopper on top of the pulverizer, take my wooden transport pipe, I'm going to attach it to the side of this block, and we want to turn it around. So it needs to be going into the hopper. Just like that. Put a redstone engine behind. It's facing this way, which is perfect. Lever on top. Alright, so the redstone engine is going. Let me put some copper in there. Alright, so the copper is coming out. Drop it into the hopper. It shows it there. Hmm. Okay, new question. <laughs> Are pulverizers not compatible with... Oh, wait. No. Blue on top. No. Give me those back. There we go. There we go. Alright, so see, now it's going to show up and go away. Alright, so what was wrong with the pulverizer? The input is the blue square, and it was expecting to be outputting on top. So I changed changed the top to be an input, and then it started accepting from the hopper. Oh, and look what we got. We got a bonus. We got pulverized gold. All right. So it'd be cool if we can get that to send into this furnace as well. Do one more thing. If we put this wooden transport pipe on the back. So if I put this here, see that connects? It'll come straight out and into the next one. If I put this, <clears throat> okay. So turn that on. Now let's see what the back output is. The back, there we go. So that's the back output. Let me see, it's pulling out the gold. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't know what to do with it. Okay, new plan. <laughs> Instead of putting it into the furnace, we'll just run it straight into the hopper. There should... No? No, that doesn't make sense either. Okay. Maybe we need a hopper for the furnace. That could work. You think so? <laughs> this is where the stuff gets complicated. I'm telling you. 
Uh oh. That's where the stop is. Let me just get my engines fired back up here. I ran out of power. Okay, so our MJs are filling back up. Yeah, I feel like a newbie for that one. Alright, so there's nothing else. Oops. Nothing else up here, because that's empty. The chest is empty. Let's put a little more copper in there, just because. So ideally, this should be getting emptied. Yeah, that's emptied out nicely now. Now that it actually has power, it's so much better. Okay. So if this... I'm going to make a quick hopper upstairs, and I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this, and we'll maybe get it set up a little bit better later on. Five. Now, cobblestone and stone transport pipes won't actually interconnect, so you can use that to build closer lines, because, you know, they won't be connecting together. Alright, so we got that. Put the hopper on top of this. Shift, click. Okay, so this would be coming out the back. So this would be whatever extra stuff we get. Like, for example, this pulverized gold. It'll bring it out, put it up in the top, and then it'll run it through. Alright, so we got some copper, some iron, we got now a gold one. Which is just a little extra bonus, which is super cool. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my ores, fill this thing up, and we'll come back and see what it looks like once it really gets going. Okay, so it's... Pop the ores in the top. Alright, so you see it's starting to take the copper out. The copper is moving along the pipeway. Drop it into the hopper. And if I wanted, I could drop some stuff in the hopper there too. And it would pull it through. Yeah, so you see this is getting pulverized. We'll occasionally get a nice little bonus out of the pack. So yeah, powered furnace is handling that. Quite nice. Um, it can, it's currently using the maximum, so it's going as fast as it can. It's keeping a nice full power, too. Yeah, there we go. So it's using maximum power. Um, we're probably got a little overkill, because I think these are generating a little bit more than... No, they're putting out four, four MJs, which works out well. Alright, so that's smelting my copper. Very nice, very nice. And this is pumping them through. And with the engines, they'll get heated up. Oh look, we got a bonus. Here comes the gold one. Yeah, with the engines, they'll get heated up. And the warmer they get, the faster they pump. Oh, just realized, I don't think I need this pipe here. Or this engine here. Alright, so the copper's there. The gold is in the top. Let's see if it'll take the gold or the next piece whenever it's done. See right here, this is saving up until there's space for it in the furnace. Alright, I'm actually curious to see which way it pulls. Alright, it's got gold. And it's actually pulling from both places because there was just happened to be pulverized gold in the output here. And now we're getting lead ore. Okay. So this lead is going to hang out here until this is ready for it. Alright, perfect. This is working quite well. And it's just popping everything in the chest. Very nice, very nice. And both my engines ran out of lava. <laughs> so that's going to be one of the next things we have to do is getting a better fuel source or better engine set up over here. Um, I could use maybe sterling engines that just run on coal or anything burnable. Um, you see this power is draining out of the furnace and same thing here. So it'll keep going until it runs out and then it'll just stop until we put some more lava in the magmatic engines over here. Alright, so ideally this room would be kind of a nice big processing area. We're going to have all kinds of stuff happening in here. Anything's moving around, engines running, that'd be cool. A lot of tin there. All right. Well, this is feed the beast on the monkey mines. 
There's a lot of the monkey, monkey mines guys playing on here. Maybe eventually we'll stop by some of their houses, check them out. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and have a good one.